you've got a new book called Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. What do you, what do you mean creative living beyond fear? I, do, it, what, if, what if fear and creativeness have to do with each other? Everything. Um, they are intricately connected. I think of them as conjoined twins. And you probably know this as a creative person, that it's virtually impossible to step into a new creative endeavor without having to encounter fear. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. You're, you have ice running <laughs> through your know, veins. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, I, and I really do think it's, it's essential because every time you engage in creativity, your creativity asks you to walk into a realm of uncertain outcome. And your fear is sort of evolutionary program to be like, shut it down. I don't know how this is going to end. We're all going to die. And so if you don't find some sort of way to work with and around and through your fear, then you can never do anything creative in your life. Well, you're a writer. What's more terrifying to you, the having to write, you know, a new book or having to write a book that follows a giant success like Eat, Pray, Love? The second. Really? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That was the most terrifying. I mean, let's also di dial down the drama. Uh, writers tend to be very dramatic. Terrifying is a big word, but it was scary after Eat, Pray, Love to try to figure out how to possibly follow that up because mm -hmm. I knew I could never satisfy really anybody. There was a whole section of people yeah, who were like, I'm sort of like a messiah. This to is people. my favorite book in the entire world. And there were right. people who were like, I wish you didn't exist. Um, and I knew there was no way. That's to... pretty harsh. Let's dial down the drama. I... <laughs> I wish you didn't exist. I, I read my fan letters. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, um, no, so no. I've seen every extension of it. And I just thought, you know, there's this weird sense where I thought, I can never outdo this. I can never beat this. That book was a phenomenon. People have already made their mind up about who I am. Mm -hmm. So now what? Do you just never do anything again? Or do you? That's the better answer. Yeah, exactly. That's probably what I should have done Well, you next time. I, I want to stand up for fear for a second. OK, yeah. OK, because I think fear is essential. To creating things, I do too. Because there's a there was a great there was a great uh, comedian named Ernie Kovacs, and Kovacs, and I love this saying. He said every good idea he ever had was because it was 3:15, and he had a 3:30 production meeting. Yeah. For his TV show, and yeah. that's how we live around here. Yeah. No, I understand that completely, and I agree, which is why the word here is beyond, not without. So it says creative living beyond fear, not creative living without fear. Because so you've got to go through the fire of the fear. You have to, and I feel like, mm -hmm. in my experience, the only truly fearless people I've ever met in my entire life were sociopaths, truly, or, <laughs> or three-year-olds, um, which is yeah. not anything that we should be modeling so, our lives. So you're <laughs> saying, so three-year-olds are sociopathic. They're in unrepentant. <laughs> That's Isn't, what you're aren't saying. we all in agreement on that? Yeah, yeah a little bit. A yeah, little bit. Oh, listen, people like people who call like say terrible twos. Yeah. have never had a three-year-old. Have never met a three-year-old. Exactly. <laughs> you called yourself like a a hall monitor for people. What does that mean? Well, it's more like what I encounter, especially with women, and a lot of the stuff that I write these days is, of course, directed at a more female audience. Although everyone's invited. Um, but I feel like with women, a lot of times people feel they need a permission slip from the principal's office to engage with their creativity. They feel like they don't have the entitlement. They don't feel like they have the right degree. They don't feel like they have the right authority. They're afraid of being criticized. And so they're holding back until somebody gives them permission to engage. And I feel like this book is one giant hall monitor's free pass, just telling everybody you, you also are entitled to engage in this ultimate human endeavor of creativity. Even you, even you, even you. Everybody. I accept your invitation. Thank I hope you, Elizabeth. so. Elizabeth, thank, thank you so much you. for being here. Thank you. It was here. nice to see you. Her new book is Big Magic Creative Living Beyond Fear.